going on everybody it's your boy pop life toys coming at you with another video as you can see we have started to redo the studio got to get some black fabric to go behind those guys or a darker color maybe a lighter color i don't know yet something to light them up uh, might put red behind the sith we got most of our good guys right over here and most of our bad guys over here we got a little assortment of troopers and we got Luke and Training Luke from episode 4. We got our Remnant Stormtrooper down here on the bottom. You can't really see him. We picked up this bad boy from Stop, Pop, and Roll yesterday. Mark over there. We kind of worked out a deal. And this is the one Groot I've been trying to find for a long time and could not pick up. Um, and then up above us you see the Chrome 10-inch Mando. Eric Fry helped us get that. Shipped it to me and could not be more ecstatic um, and you see all our graded pops behind me over here I'm still not very good at this so very glad to have that collection George Sanderson needs to go and I don't know what else we'll send next with him probably James Rhodes if I had to guess but I have some good news for you today we are doing an unboxing from our Favorite channel sponsor and one of my good friends, the VVGS from Sean. So this is my arc. Um, as I like to call it, it's Mark 42, but it is arc number 0042, I think is how it's actually written. Um, this was given to me in a trade when I got Luke and uh, Han as Stormtroopers already graded. So I did not have to buy my arc. But you can buy your ARC and get your initial two pops graded for $200. That gets you an ARC that's yours to keep. It gets you the shipping of the ARC to you. It covers the shipping back to them and they send it back to you with a return label. And then from then on out when you buy it, it's $150 to get two pops graded, including your UPS shipping to and from. This one took a little longer than it normally does because they are starting to get busy. And yes, we have ARC. Let's see if I can get that label in clear enough. Yeah, ARC 42. But it is officially the Blucus, 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 Pop Life Toys. And then we put a collection of just stickers we had the Sticker Mule Ass, uh, a couple other crazy things of Pop Life Toys, and of course, a Super Plastic sticker. But that is not what y'all came to see. We are going to show you what we got back in the arc. Y'all just saw me take it out of the box. I have no clue what the grade is. So we're going to do it this way so y'all can see. We're going to angle this camera down and allow y'all to see before I do. All right. So we have. Ooh. All right, so what we had sent off. All right, so we have an 8.5 and a 9.2. With the 9.2, I'm very excited about. That was a huge want for me and a massive pickup. And I could not be more ecstatic, but let's get this styrofoam out of here. They give you these rolls. Ugh, that is so when you send in your pops to get graded they have something to hold them in place i send them in blucus protectors and i don't get my blucus protectors back which means sean gets extra blucus protectors all right our 8.5 is none other than the 2015 funko san diego comic-con convention convention princess leia bush unmasked where she went to rescue han from the carbonites and ends up becoming slave leah awesome pop this was one of my most wanted ones now she was not the best condition but she was in pretty good so she's an 8.5 which is very good as they rate it um and it shows star wars 54 san diego comic-con international 2015 1008 pieces limited edition so on the back, you've got your QR code and I can literally scan that with my phone and it will take me to a link with an image of my pop and then why it was graded what it was. But one of the coolest grades we picked up was a 9.2 off 
on the shared Captain Rex. Now, I believe this did come out of Hot Topic. Um, and you can see right there, it says the 2018 Fall Convention Exclusive Limited Edition, number 274, and it is rated as a 9.2 near mint. Ah, I love Rex. I need that, that blue on that 501st, though, man. Rex is gorgeous. And we do now have all the pops that sit on the back. Obi-Wan and Anakin sit down here. And Yoda is over there in the stack of stuff that I've still got to figure out how to display. But as you see, beautiful arc comes back. If you open them, they know. Copyrights 2018 by Sean LLC. All rights reserved. And we have two beautiful Star Wars pops back from grading. So, the question is now, what do we send off for the next run? And I bet y'all are wondering, I think I'm about to tell you. Alright, so, of course, no question, Mr. George Sanderson will be going to get graded. Picked him up, came out of Malaysia off eBay, and we verified him legit, he's not a knocked off pop. Paid up for him because if I was going to have him to complete my OG set, I wanted a Disney Store logo. Which I do not have on Boo, but that's okay. Mike and Sully both have the Disney Store logo, but we have the Disney Store logo on George Sanderson. If you have not ever seen this popper taken out of the back, you can kind of see the white on his back right over here. It is, he's got the sock on his back from the 2319, 2319 where he gets shaved and basically neutered. So we're going to take that pop. We're going to take us a, a Blucas protector from seven bucks a pop. Do have these for sale. We're going to take it. I can do this with my eyes closed. Um, you can send them without a protector on them. You can send them in hard sets, but you're not getting them back. Um, I just kind of like sending them in my Blucas protectors. He likes getting them. He puts some of his pops in them. Um, Ship some to a couple people not too long ago and they talk about how flat they lie compared to normal pop shields. And that is because of how big the Blucas logo is on top. It makes it an otter shape where it won't bubble up. So we take our George Sanderson, slot him in, lock it down, and that is pop number one going in our arc. Now I'll show you how we place those in a minute. Now we have a choice. We can either send Mando, we can send Shock Trooper, or we can go ahead and send James Rhodes like we originally planned to do. And I think what we're going to do, hmm, yep. So that he will sit better with Iron Man, we are going to send James Rhodes also from 2013 San Diego Comic-Con limited piece, exclusive to the con. Uh, I want to say this was, oh, I don't know how many pieces. His paint app is not perfect, but he is a 2013 pop, and it is him as Iron Patriot. I have that hot toy, and Tony Stark in the Mark 42 suit. I also have that hot toy. Um... If you've watched my lives, I've talked about the semblance in these two suits and why I absolutely love them so much and am very glad to be the proud owner of that pop. So, as we have more things vaulted, we have less things um, that sit in pop armors. But what that allows us to do is put some of our other pops that we want in pop armors into the pop armors because i realized as i was cleaning up the shop i had one pop armor left that wasn't surrounded by a pop and Groot went in it the other day so now i have two more that are unused that will not be used that i can put pops in like uh jeff dunham sign pop over there or nick saban sign big al over there um or my blue box princess leia which keeps going up or my slave leia which is Somewhere close by. Right there. She's already in the normal. 
you watch Monsters, Inc., though, it's weird. They fluctuate so much. They go from really low to really high and then back up again. So we are once again going to put the pop in our Blucas protector. Um, very easy to do. Literally pop it in. I always pop my tabs. That's just a part of me. So you get two pops in there like that. All right, you already see them starting to slide. So what you do is you take your long roll of foam and you put it at the bottom of them. I'll show you all in just a second. Actually, it goes in between them, my bad. And this was a great idea by them to allow you to send non-vaulted pops into them and have them come back in vaults. So you just drop the, the little wedges of foam in there and it sits. And close it up and just like that, we've got a vault or an arc ready to go back to the VVGS to get all this beautiful stuff done to it and get two more pots graded and added to the collection. Now that's not amazing guys. I don't know what is. Um, I'm either going to send them down now or send them with Sean when he comes up next week. I'll have to talk to him, see what he wants to do. He is coming to bring me my lightsaber from Disney and we will be showing off some really cool pops that he is delivering to the Midwest. If you have an order of more than 50 pops, he will come get them and deliver them in person because the cost of shipping and the chance of damage is so much less. It's, it's honestly cheaper to drive them out there. Wow. Our little logo popped out. We'll pop that back in. But this is officially the Pop Life Toys arc and it will be going. Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when we drop new videos or we go live. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Uh, if you're wild enough, hit us up on Facebook. Even though we don't post there much, it copies from Instagram. Um, we will see you on the next one. Remember, we tell you three things every time we see you. Do something day to make tomorrow better. Help somebody in need and never take anything for granted. This is your boy, Pop Life Toys, and we're out.